Here we go! It's Samadio and the Tanuki suit. <laughs> Hey there YouTube, this guy's Toys and I'm back with an awesome video for you guys. I've been holding off on these for quite a time, some time. Uh, these are the ultra detailed figures from GameStop. Uh, I got these back in late December. Uh, I did record a video of it, but it was so bad quality because I decided just to half-ass it and it came out horrible. But I need to give these, these figures some time and I dedicated some time now to go ahead and review these and give my cons and pros of these figures. Um, so let's get started. All right, so here we go. We got the Super Mario Bros. 3 Edition Tanuki Suit Mario. These are by Medcom Toys. Um, I bought these off of um, GameStop's website back in November during my birthday. They finally came in, and like I said, I did previously pre-record -re -pre this, but I did not like the quality of the video. I didn't give it justice, so. Uh, my big fault on this packaging alone was that they taped the sides right here. Um, you can cut it, but you still have this tape and it looks really horrendous. Stupid me, I went and tried to take it off, but the tape they use is just... It's a collector's nightmare. At least it's a personal nightmare of mine. Because you can see right there, all that residue, it's going to be on there forever. And so, you know, sooner or later, Joe's going to get on this and it's just going to look nasty. Um, I know there's like a glue eraser you can use. I used to have one for when I was doing graphic media art. I'm gonna have to look for one again and hopefully that can take it off. But let's get straight down to the figure. There's six to collect in this series. Um, I had the opportunity to get Link, but I really do like these three. I should have gotten him too, but whatever. I got stuck to my OG characters, which is my Link that I love, uh, and my Tanuki Suit Mario, which is the best Mario um, suit that I personally like. Well, number one and then number two is the hammer suit. And the only reason I don't like I like the hammer suit in second place is because he was, it's so hard to obtain. But whatever, that's just me. So let's get started with the Mario figure. He comes in a packaging. I love this checkered packaging. It's so cool. Um, and the suit in Mario itself comes in um, this little plastic sleeve or sheet, whatever, to protect him from getting scuffed. Now my lighting is not the best right now. Let me see if I can pause this and get some better light on him. Here we go! It's the Mario in the Tanuki suit. I really love the vibrant colors. The molding is really nice. The guy has really chubby cheeks from back in the day. <laughs> the ears are beautiful. I just love this. So good. Uh, this, you can see a couple of the seam lines right there. Let's see if we can focus. Focus, there you go. Uh, right down the middle. Um, I expected a little more detail, um, or at least cleaner lines. Like right here, this is really bad. I don't like that at all. Um, but it's been a while. I just haven't thought about returning it because I don't want to wait another six month. Well, it was like two month wait to get these, but um, yeah, here you go. It looks really cute. Um, I might just keep these out the packaging from now, from right now. So I'm gonna set them here, and I'm gonna move on to my next figure. And it is the original Link from Legend of Zelda. Right here it says Hyrule Fantasy in Japanese. Well, it says English, and then this is a Zelda in Japanese. These are official Nintendo products, like I said, um, by the same company. This was number 177. And like I said, the packaging, I ended up just cutting the, the, the sides right here so I wouldn't take the stupid tape off, but all right. Let's take Link out. And he comes with more protection. He comes with an extra sleeve to protect the front of it. There's the back. He still has the same sheet in the front. This one actually covers the front and back. Oh, he's not even, he's not, he's not really on the stand. You have to put him separate for it to fit. And I know that because I repackaged it after I did my first initial video. So here you go, here is Link. He has uh, orange underwear. Or these are his, yeah, I think these are his tights. Well, it don't matter, because you're not gonna really see it when you have it on the stand. All right, so here's some better lighting on Link. I'm going to focus again. There you go. He is really good. I love the colors. They're very vibrant on him. Oh, come on. Focus. Oh yeah. He got a sword. And I didn't even see this defect the first time I, I opened him and reviewed him. But there is this blemish on his sword. Look at that. It's gross. I hate this. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Um, but anyway, it sculpted pretty well. I love the shield. 
the hair. It's real original to the original Zelda picture. And I got my laser pointer right here. Mm, anyway, so yeah, here you go. What do you guys think about these? I really do like these. Um, now that I'm actually seeing it up close, I kind of I feel like I overpaid for these because these aren't really that great. There's just a bunch of scuffs I don't like on here. These seam lines should have been taken off anyway. Ah, anyway, uh, it was still a great present to have my wife and kids say, Daddy, you can go ahead and order whatever figures you want. I was excited because they looked so awesome on the website, of course. But yeah, here you go. What do you guys think? Well, let me know if you guys ordered any of these over the holiday or if you guys had these before they were released for GameStop. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's it for this video. It's this guy's toys and I'll see you in my next video.